Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Fear of Texas Gaming. We got some Diamond Dynasty lined up for you, but I'm going to make a quick video on how to improve your squad real quick. It's going to be awesome. I will get to rotation, lineup, bench, bullpen, everything, types of gameplay, you name it, it'll be in this video. So, I'm going to start out with what can I do to improve my pitching staff? Alright. I'm very commonly asked this question by my bad, or blah, 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 by my friends that are into this Diamond Dynasty stuff. Well, what you do is you sell one of your gold players for another gold player. It's really a market. And I pulled Mad Bum. I pulled him out of a daily stamp. Waka, I started out with. So, I haven't really worked on my rotation other than buying. I bought Verlander, Ventura, Wright, and Gamboa. So, one thing you can do is you can pitch all knuckleballers. These two are knuckleballers. You can pitch your best pitchers, which I'm not doing because Gamboa is in my lap and not Verlander. Or you could throw all your hardballers, like Ventura, I mean, he throws 100 consistent, and that kind of thing. That's really just the three ways that you can make your rotation, or you could have, like, kind of a mix. Another thing you're asking is, why is Mad Bum in the four hole? Mad Bum is in the four hole because Mad Bum is one of my favorite pitchers to pitch with, and quite frankly, you don't pull the ace spot very often. I'm going to switch those two really quick. Your one pitcher should be the pitcher you least want to pitch with. Your two pitchers should be the pitcher that uh, you're okay with if you get him, but you'd rather not pitch with him. Three holes should be a pitcher that you're pretty comfortable with, and the five holes should be the pitcher that you're very comfortable with. Your four pitcher should be somebody, probably your ace, probably your best pitcher in your rotation, should be in your four hole. So, that's just a little bit on a tip, trick. Because you don't pull your ace, ace very often when you're online. You pull out of the 3, 4, 5. So, you always like to do that. Alright, we're going to shift it over to bullpen. First and foremost, this dude deserves a ton of credit, Nate Jones. 78 overall, throws 100 consistent. Love the dude. And strikes everybody out. Awesome. Um, he's literally like a five stub buy. So like if you buy them, you can buy them for five stubs. Dan Jose, Zeke or Nishek, all submarine pitchers. You want to have a few of those in your bullpen because it, it gets people pretty off balance. And I'm only playing Storm Street and Ramos because they're my three best closers. I don't really have anybody better. I have a different account where I have the same bullpen except for the bottom three I have Batanzas, Rosenthal, and Chapman. So, that's a different account. I can't film that account, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Alright, we are going to go to our lineup card. Spooky. Alright, lineup card. Three things you can do for your lineup card. Make it better. I'm going to tell you what, where you should put your players if you want them to succeed the most. You got you got the speedy lineup, okay? So the four speediest players in the game. D. Gordon, Jordan Schaefer, Gerard Dyson, Billy Hamilton. So if you were to play all four of them, I have two of them. I have Dyson and I have Hamilton. If you were to play all four of them, you would play your Donald Ventura batting seventh. And then you have Draw Dyson or Billy Hamilton. It really doesn't matter which order you put them in. I bat D Gordon leadoff because um, he gets on base easier. He has like 89 contact or something crazy. So I bat D Gordon first, and I bat like Billy Hamilton and um, Jordan Schaefer right here. And then what's the other Draw Dyson? 
So that's what I would do. There's a different approach you can take. The power lineup. See, I have Edwin right here. And then I have Gallo and Howard. Howard hits for power a lot. So, the one thing I would do is I would substitute out Fowler, Jones, and Dozier for those three power hitters. Oh, I, I didn't mention Gallo, did I? It's an all-power lineup. It's kind of a difficult lineup to play with. I don't like playing with that kind of lineup. First of all, a lot of defensive errors. I don't like the defensive error stuff. Second of all, there's a lot of um, popping up. No home runs. You only hit very many home runs. I found that you hit more home runs with a balanced lineup. Which is what I use. I use my balanced lineup. Jones gets on base. Fowler has speed. Abreu hits for power. Bautista hits for power. Arenado hits for power. My guy's a mix that can hit all three of these guys home. This guy should be sort of a mix. The seventh hole. Your eighth hole should always be your pitcher. Give yourself a second leadoff hitter right here. Which mine is Brian Dozier. And I got another tip for your bench. Your bench here should consist of righties and lefties. I happen to have a switch in here. So I mean I, I can play out two ways. But you want to have righties and lefties. And you want to have infielders and outfielders. So, I have a mix on the infield. Right-handed, left-handed, left-handed. Switch. He throws. Don't hold me accountable for this. I think he throws right. Let me see. Yeah, he throws right. And, and, out, and the other outfield throws left. So, you want to have kind of a mix. You also want to have somebody very speedy. I happen to have two. You also want to have somebody very powerful. I have three. The reason, if you're if you're tied up in the bottom of the night, and let's say your weed up here gets on, draw Dyson, put him on base, steal second, steal third two pitches. Now you've got the middle of your lineup up for a brutal bottom of the ninth, if they even try to get out of it, I mean, Dyson would be on third, who's to say you don't squeeze one, and you got, like, somebody, a power hitter, like, a Bray at the plate. Ball game. He hits one to the outfield, and the ball game's over. The other thing is, walk off home runs for, like, Encarnacion or Gallo or Howard or somebody like that. I never sub these guys in for position players unless they're hurt. I always sub them in with a um, with a pitcher. I normally sub in like righties when the lefties pitching or lefties when the righties pitching. So I hope these tips and tricks helped you. If they did, make sure you hit like, subscribe to my channel for more, and we'll be the show in really any type of game. I play everything. I mean, you name it. I got first person shooters. I got shooting loot. I got sports games. Any games you recommend for me to play, make sure you leave them in the comments below. And from our house to yours, uh, good night.